Uh, man. Do you know who the players are, Arkma? Yellow man versus uh, blue shirt man. What? No? Okay. Doesn't so. he kind of look like uh, like young Brody? Like uh, the, the Hot Pocket or whatever? He kind of looks like him. I don't know if I met him. Except the... Mm, man, I don't know. I swear I know his face. I think I'm supposed to know who this is. I, maybe someone in the chat will be able to tell us uh, who, who Yellow Shirt Polygonal? Man is. Polygonal? Poly, what does that say? Oh, that's, protagonist. That's oh, protagonist. Oh, I didn't recognize protagonist. <laughs> at all. So different. Okay. And so my plan here is Fox. <laughs> and so it looks. It's afraid as a great protagonist. I'm not. A, <laughs> I'm out of practice. You did a good job though. I do. I'm interested to see the protagonist play. I really do. A really excellent shine by me. <laughs> I love protagonist poetry, by the way. We, we all. He has love like a great like radio voice. You know? I feel very comfortable. Yeah, openly yeah. making fun of him <laughs> in a set that he will no doubt watch. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I don't. I just don't know who this Pika is. You know who the Pikachu is? You know who the Pikachu is? Oh, you see that ledge cancel? Okay. So we have protagonist here up against a Pikachu player who Koro Beneke recognizes but doesn't know the tag of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's Ace. That's Box's brother. Okay. It's so, his brother. Box. Oh, Box's, Box's brother. brother. Yeah, that's Ace. And wow, Ace is doing incredibly well here. It's a Box and Ace. Real creative three-letter uh, tags. I think it's from like, the brothers. Is it the protagonist? <laughs> If it's protagonist, then uh, I'll just put protagonist. Yeah, I feel weird. He's making facial. I mean, he's playing, you know, Fox. He's at a competent level, and he looks at least a good amount like the protagonist. Yeah. What, what did I say his tag was? Did you forget too? The protagonist. No, the other guy, Fox's brother. Oh, Ace. Oh, Ace. Yeah, yeah, right. Ace, Ace, yeah. Ace. See the three-letter kings. Yeah. That's a tight spot. This is a. Uh, generally uh, considered a difficult matchup. Yeah, it's a very, very strong performance by Ace there in the first game, taking it handily with the three stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you think that's Dad Protag's brother? Oh, so maybe. Dad is Protagonist's brother? Is that Dad or Protag? Uh, Dad's Protag? Okay. Oh, we got, we're getting gaslit by the chat. Yeah, okay. I didn't even know they were brothers. Dad and Protagonist? Is that true? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. That's correct. Oh. Three for all. Anyway, so yeah, he's taking that first game pretty handily. Uh, honestly, a bit of a surprise. Uh, so this is not Dad uh, to, to get this, this, the chat screen now. This is Protagonist. Yeah, but let, let's go anyway, Dad. Uh, if he bears a passing resemblance to Vsauce if he were to shave his head. He actually has a significantly stronger hair game. Quite a full beard. Uh, not patchy at all. Nice wavy hair. I, I, very handsome. Yeah, and also playing Fox, which is a very handsome thing to do. Very handsome thing, yeah. Uh, yeah, very attractive. Especially against Pikachu. You have to be extremely handsome to play Fox Pika. Yeah, for sure. Uh, anyway, already off to a much better start here. Tagus, maybe just needed to, you know, like, uh, just take a game to figure things out a little bit, get into the groove. I'm sure he's been playing pools already, but this is his first time on the stream setup. And it's a different beast, you know? A nice jab there. It yeah, looks like, oh, he was thinking about it, but Pika kind of de-iced off the stage. It's always really easy to get a little bit of nerves when oh, you hop onto the stream setup. Oh, but, wow. He's, he's doing so many unnecessary follow-ups, but they're all so good. I mean, yeah, like, so all these positions you could just up smash, right? Or jab up smash. Yeah. But he keeps going up for these continuers. It is, it is a little easy to be like worried about going for a jab up smash because it always sucks when you go for it and they like block it or like tech out or something. And, and look at that, he gets his jab game. grabbed. That uh, is the jab grab. That is the jab grab from, from Pikachu. All of that work put in by Protagonist and Pikachu just wipes the sleep. And he almost does it again. <laughs> oh, there you go. He opts to go ahead and get the kill and you look at he's, he's shaking, shaking loose, getting the, uh, getting the 
the, uh, what's it called? The lactic acid uh, out of his, uh, his joints. Nice upbeat from Ace there. Uh, just like a really quick escape, resetting the situation and not letting too much happen to him off of that neutral exchange that protagonist won. But Protag still up a whole stock here and just needs to kind of like continue doing what he's doing, keeping Pikachu at bay, racking up the damage. Yeah, he's doing great here. This this has been a really good sequence. Jab up smash? Yeah. Oh he... no, and he doesn't go for it. And then uh, Ace is able to DI oh, out. That's exactly what I said before, where you, you go for the jab up smash, but they fall out and tech or something. Yeah. And then it becomes really scary for Fox. And yeah, and then he went for more jabs and he again almost got his jab grabbed. Oh, oh and, and again. A, the jab up smash missing that time. Yeah, and, like, that, now, Stuff like that, that's like the reason why I think Fox players uh, can be kind of timid about going for a jab up smash in like high pressure yes. situations such as this. This is notoriously a matchup that you are not supposed to make any mistakes in. Yeah. This is interesting because I think he got three stock game one, but now he's up three to one. He game did two. a huge turnaround from, from protagonist. Uh, Look at that shine! Wow. And he baits him all the way down and then shines him. Could have even really maybe stolen the ledge there if he was uh, a little quicker to. And he's he's fishing for fishing for something. All right, a uh, throw off is decent. Oh, it doesn't cover ledge. Almost gets the roll up, and I think he teleported now. <laughs> Did Nair not gonna kill? It's still not over. You can never count Pikachu out, you know. Oh, and he just that wow. range on that up he, smash. He up smashed his jab. Yeah, once again the jab gets yeah, punished. He, he reached out and then just then... Hit, here's my hitbox, Pikachu. Would you like this? Would you like to up smash it? And now oh. I'm gonna let you throw me off. Oh man. He's he's being the, the little Pikachu. Again, shark. he get, gets the back throw. This has a tight position. That, he, that he might do it. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's, he's just spamming up. <laughs> Looks like the right decision. Very uh, kind of sloppy ending game from these two players here. Oh, that I'm surprised that up air didn't hit. But I, I like that recovery. It was a nice recovery, that, yeah. yeah nice sweet there. spot. Oh, and going for the nair rather than up air. Look at that! He just runs. Hey, Pikachu! Oh, here's man. my hitbox. Protagonist really has to keep calm in this situation and not overextend himself yeah. into like a Pikachu grab or something. There you and go. The, the Edgehog. Simple stuff. 169. Yeah, he looks proud of himself. For Pikachu. Breathes a huge sigh of relief. It's all on the line here. That's for Super Smash Con 2022. Yeah, this is some, like, starting to become some very intense for Super Smash Brothers gameplay. So it's all tied up here. We're uh, neck it's and all neck. All tied up. It's all tied up. The players yeah. have the same score. Same stock count, same percent. Yeah, it's at this very point it's all tied right up. Now. Oh, and we get a slight percent lead. What here. a what a jab from Protag though to get oh, out of that, that spacing. Oh, but he throws it away. Oh, yeah. but he gets it back. <laughs> the, the Pikachu down tilt grab is so difficult to to account for. Uh, but I really like protagonist spacing on that whole recovery. I mean, if there's one thing a fox has to be good at, it's kind of making it back against the Pikachu. Okay. But, uh, that was a good call out from Ace that time, though. He just jumps a little further out there, calls out protagonist, Yoshi. kind of fading back with that double jump. <laughs> Yoshi, not on the screen right now. <laughs> so we are uh, only in my mouth it. and in my hearts and in my thoughts. My hearts. We do like Yoshi here. At the yeah, at just Super thinking Smash about what this 2022 Division <laughs> Four commentary booth. Just thinking about what this matchup would be like if Yoshi was in it. Kind of like, not not like as one of the two characters. No, but as he'd the be third. third player. Yeah, yeah, yeah kind of referee. The referee, yeah, yeah, that would be good. I don't know why the rule set isn't. Uh, like I don't that. know why that's not terminant. It's ter terminant standard. And nice little combo here. Terminant. The protagonist still uh, again. Uh, just looking like he's not quite confident going for the up smash. Oh, look at that. And he, no space to dash, but he gets the up the smash connected anyway. Yeah, that's not always guaranteed. Uh, and it was good recognition from him there to be able to tell he could go for that. Big down tilt, big up smash. Up smashing on the tech, tech chase. chase. Oh. Nice roll. <laughs> I really thought he was getting grabbed there. Yeah. I'm super surprised. There, though. Great forward, th I mean, forward air. It's a tough spot for Fox to recover in, but yeah, throwing out that forward arrow. Must be highly invested in this matchup. Makes the soy face. Protagonist is really uh, 
that's from what we talked about earlier, the, the death by a thousand cuts Fox. Yeah, exactly. Like, he really is content with just, like, safely winning neutral a lot of times in ways that don't put him into a hugely, like, uh, like advantageous position right. for follow-ups, but also at the same time, keep him incredibly safe when it when it, when like it doesn't that. work out. That was a great laser grab there. Did he just do a just, oh, just just did a pop off taunt? Real Healing life? himself a little bit. Now, protagonist known to be an extremely toxic player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you always hear he's one of the the rudest guys. He's no, of course. Sits time. back, takes a deep breath, lets it out. Patiently waiting on the ground here with waiting these lasers. Opportunity. Now the, the laser, it's pretty tough to hit Pikachu with a laser if he's just you know standing yeah, there. Yeah, he's actually but getting a lot of high single lasers too. And right, right. Lasers and when he, he's, he's kind of threatening an approach and getting Pikachu to leave Crouch and then he goes back into the laser. Which is what a lot of foxes Honestly, do. Honestly, if, if I were Ace here, I would be uh, just trying to like approach a little bit more while he's doing those lasers and get into that range where you can uh, sort of dash underneath him right. and grab Fox. Cause because shooting a laser is a big commitment. Mm -hmm. You're trapped in that animation until you reach the floor again. So it's like doing a short hop with no hitbox and no ability to fast fall. Yeah, but once again, he lands with a laser, does a raw up smash in neutral, and lands it. Very unconventional play coming up from Chagas, who's just drill jabbing over and over again, looking like Jaime at the combo contest last night. I didn't see it. And, uh, you know, it's looking really good for uh, for Protag. He just connects the up smash. And he does the pop-off in real life once again. Yeah, he's very excited about winning that. After that game one, I can the imagine surging. the nerves He's out high. of breath. <laughs> this is the biggest win of his life, it looks like, judging just by his body language. Protagonist rightfully so very happy about beating the other top it seed. Is, it, it is, is a big cool. win and a tough uh, matchup. Could mean a lot in terms of where he's going into Division 3, like what pool he's going to be in. And I realize now that his his brother is is the red shirt.